Hello students, welcome back to the maths class. Today we will continue this chapter number 5 further with the next exercise 5.3 and 5.4. The first question children we have here is match the following. Okay, so side A and side B given to you. You can see the red letters, they are your correct answers. Okay, so straight angle is what? Half of a revolution. Okay, so let us ma match it. Okay, so here you have half of the revolution. Then right angle, right angle is one fourth of a revolution. Then acute angle less than one fourth of a revolution. Obtuse angle, it is between 14 and one fourth and one half of a revolution. Reflex angle is one complete revolution. Next question number two. Classify the following angles. So then you can see few angles are given to you. You have to just observe them and let us tell that what type of angle they are. The first one. What type of angle it is children? Acute angle because it is less than one fourth here. Similarly, B which is more than one fourth so it is obtuse angle. Here it is right one fourth, full one fourth that is right angle here. Here it is more than half also. In D you can see the angle is more than half. This sign you have to observe children. Okay, it is more than half. So, you can say that it is a reflex angle. Similarly, the next number E, it is right half. Half, okay. So, it is a straight angle. Similarly, the last one, you can see two angles marked here, but they are less than one fourth. It is less than one fourth. So, we will give it as acute angle here. Now, exercise 5.4, question number 1. What is the measure of a right angle, a straight angle? The measure of right angle is 90 degree and the measure of straight angle is 180 degree. True or false? The measure of an acute angle is less than 90 degree. Yes, true. The statement is true. The measure of an obtuse angle is greater than 90 degree degree. Okay. Obtuse angle is greater than 90 or less than 90. It is greater than 90. So, it is true. The measure of one complete revolution is 360 degree. Complete revolution children gives us 360. Okay. So, the statement will be true. Question number 3. Write down the measures of some acute angles and some obtuse angle. Okay, acute they are less than 90 degrees. So, you can take any number less than 90, but I have taken here 25 degree, 63 degree and 72 degree. Children, don't forget to write degree. Okay, angles are measured in degrees. Similarly, obtuse that is more than 90 here, 105 degree, 120 degree and 135 degree. Okay, so these are the measures, different measures that I have taken for obtuse angle more than 90 degree. <coughs> Question number 7. Fill in the blanks with acute, obtuse, right or straight. Okay, only this we have to use children. So, an angle whose measure is less than that of a right angle is acute. Okay, less than 90, acute. An angle whose measure is greater than that of a right angle that is more greater than 90, it is obtuse. An angle whose measure is the sum of the measure of two right angles. Two right angles makes 180, that is straight angle. When the sum of the measure of two angles is that of the right angle and then each one of them is acute. Because two uh, if two angles measures 90 means each is of 45, we calculate half up. So, 45 is what? Less than 90. So, it will be acute. 
when the sum of the measure of two angle is that of a straight angle and if one of them is acute then the other shall be obtuse ok if one is less if you have to complete the measurement the another will be greater so it will be obtuse here next question find the angle between the hands of the clock in each figure ok so the first figure here we have you can see 9 it, it shows 9 o'clock in the on the cl clock here so the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand of a clock that is at 9 am that is of 90 degree one fourth of the total revolution that gives you 90 similarly second one the angle between the hour and, and the minute hand of a clock at 1 pm is of 30 degree. Children, the, this actually you can see here, this is total 90 degree. So, between each hour the gap is here of 30, 30 and 30. Okay, total 90. So, one hour you have to calculate it as 30 degree. So, you can see here, but if I take 12 to 3 it will be 90, then 12 to 1 will be what? 1 third of 90 that is 30 degree only. Next, you can see the angle between the hour hand and the minute hand of the clock shows that it is 6 pm. That means it is half of the revolution. That means here we get two right angles here. You can see if I take 1 and 2. So, 90 and 90 it will be 180 degree here. So, with this children we end this exercise over here. Hope you understood this concept and now I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.